what is up everybody my name is wes and today we are talking about the goals for 2023 for me the channel career weird shit that i want to do this year and uh yeah th this video is going to have kind of three parts to it the first part is going to be reevaluating my goals from last year talking about how if i reached them if i didn't and kind of <laughs> how i feel about it uh spoiler alert i didn't hit any of them so we're going to be talking about what it's like to fail the importance of staying uh driven and keeping your head up so you don't let it completely destroy and devastate your whole entire momentum uh next we'll be talking about what goals i have set for 2023 uh, i did try to record this video already but it was two nights ago at like eight in the morning when i couldn't sleep for some reason and it just did turn into a wreck it, it was bad so i'm redoing this uh, maybe that video will be maybe i'll cut it up into like a fails compilation or something like that for fun because it turned bad real quick and then finally we're going to be talking about how i set goals and maybe it'll help others it's really straightforward and really easy to do but it gives you a better vision of what you need to do on a weekly basis and even a daily basis to be able to achieve set goals. So let's just hop right into it. First things first, last year, um, this picture was taken on January 12th of 2022. I posted on Facebook. Um, of course, I had to hashtag it something cringy because, you know, that's just how it be sometimes. And this is what I said. So I reevaluated my goals for the next year. They are as follows. I forgot to put R because, you know, dyslexia kicks in sometimes. Have my first $100,000 year um, money-wise. This was probably the closest thing that I reached. Um, I'm about $17,000 off. So I had a really good year financially. Um, my salary was decent. I had uh, some bonuses and then a couple of my side gigs paid off. The only thing that, one thing that really took away from it is a lot of my investments into the stock market as most people uh did not pan out they actually lost money so i may have hit 100k this year if the stock market would have cooperated but you know shit happens uh monetize on youtube i am 400 and uh, 461 subs away and about 2500 watch hours away from monetization we made progress but we're still a far away from it uh double my views across all platforms we did not double the views on twitch we did not double we came close to doubling the views on all podcast platforms that i'm on um which was awesome because we didn't i didn't really produce any podcast this year so it's just growing naturally which is great um guest on 10 podcasts i did two uh, 10k followers on insta and twitter did not even get close to that and perform stand-up 10 plus times we didn't get close to that number either i did three but i did do a lot of <laughs> practicing online i know that sounds dumb but there's certain games and stuff where you can go and perform in front of people um online and i did pretty good but it's different it sounds silly but trust me it, it was good practice so I kind of want to talk about one thing that I've always had built into me, which is really nice, is the idea of failing forward. I failed all my goals, right? I didn't accomplish one. Um, and instead of making excuses, I just can call it what it is, a failure. Happens. Happens to everybody. Now, the difference is, is if people who dwell on those failures, and if I look back at 2022 and be like, fuck, man, it was a disaster. I didn't accomplish anything. It's going to drastically impact my 2023 and be negative, disappointed, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, sure. A lot of people do that. It doesn't help you. I promise. What helps you is taking all the lessons you learned on why you failed, applying them to the following year and making sure you don't fail again. Or if you do, at least move the needle. At least move it just a little bit in the right direction. But yeah, so we failed last year. Um, my last three months have probably been the worst three months of the year, just in the sense of career stuff took a full 180. And I'll talk a little bit about it later when we look at goals for this upcoming year. Um, 
it really just kind of impacted everything. I let it impact it, uh, impact me drastically when I shouldn't have. But hey, you know what? Shit happens. So let's hop into next year's goals. There is a lot, and I'm going to explain how I kind of do this. So I break down my goals into four separate categories. Life goals, goals for top shelfers, career goals, and then miscellaneous goals slash achievements, meaning things that I want to try and accomplish this year, but we'll see how it goes, right? Like these 15 right here are goals that I'm dra like I, I'm focused on on a daily basis that I'm trying to move the needle on one of these 15 every single day, okay? And then miscellaneous is just kind of like little things that I want to do if I can get to it as the year goes on, okay? So first things first, the biggest thing that I'm going to focus on this year is losing weight. I didn't do it last year just because I wanted to focus on other things, but we, I need to get it in control. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, I'm going to weigh 285 pounds by December 31st of 2023 kind of a non-negotiable for me because it's starting to impact my life in more ways than I would like to admit, and it just needs to happen. Uh, there, there'll be more of this on the channel as time goes on. Uh, published my first book. Yes, I've been writing. I've been writing a lot. Uh, it's kind of a secret little thing that I do that I don't make content around because it's just, I don't want to. <laughs> And I'm about 170 something pages in. Uh, I don't really know when I'm going to call it good, but I want to have my first rough draft done soon. We're like first draft done. I guess not rough, first draft done. I'm going to get it um, professionally looked at, like revised and edited, and then work on a second draft, do the same thing, kind of have my third final draft maybe get a couple of people to read it, tell me what they think, and then if everything is good as goes, then we're publishing. Super excited for that. Followed by poetry. A lot of people don't know this about me. Probably only my wife knows this about me. I love poetry. I've written it a lot throughout my life, um, and I want to do something with it. Um, she's going to watch this video and not know this, but I actually, the book, the poetry that I've been working on is for her, and... I want to publish it for her to have and the world to see that love still exists. Call me corny. I'm old school. Hate on it if you want. I don't care. Um, I want to get my first paid gig as a stand-up. Uh, there's a lot that goes into this, and I don't know if it's really even possible, but we're going to try. That's all we can do, right? And then create my first business LLC. Uh, this just... This should have happened two years ago, but I haven't got around to it. Um, it's going to happen this year. Uh, top Shelfers goals. 2023, why you guys are here, Top Shelfers. So let's talk about it. Reach 1,000 subs on YouTube by December 31st of 2023. I think that's obtainable. Uh, reach an average of 10 viewers on Twitch for the year of 2023. This one's going to be tough, but... We're growing a lot here on YouTube. We're growing a lot on, on, our, on our other social media. And I've also kind of grown into a really awesome community of uh, dudes I can kind of call my friends now. I hope that's how they look at it. And they're always super supportive. So I think that this is something that I can achieve this year. Um, produce 365 new videos for the YouTube channel. Yes, that is a video a day. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to give you a video every single day. There might be days where you get two or three videos, and there might be day, there might be a week where you don't get any. But at the end of the year, I want to have made 365 new videos. Uh, reach 300 episodes of the podcast. I'm at 250, so I need to do 50 episodes this year, which I think is completely obtainable and nothing too drastic. And then this one is interesting that... I'm really excited for this. So I want to create at least 10 videos with a budget this year, meaning that it isn't just collabs like on games. Like I want to bring people to an area with a video idea, with a budget and create a budgeted video. Um, I have a lot of fun ideas for budgeted videos, like not just recording in a room, you know, um, my the biggest holdbacks now that I have is like I haven't done much of that 
and I don't have a lot of cameras. But phones are amazing nowadays, and I think that there could be a lot of fun stuff. Um, I have a list of about 20 or 30 people that I want to reach out to for some of these videos, see if they want to get involved, if they want to do it. Um, so that should be exciting. But I want to do at least 10 of those. So less than one a month. Uh, not sure when the first one will be out, but you guys will definitely know. And then career goals. So this is kind of a big announcement, uh, at least for people who care about, you know, me outside of this. I am no longer with the company that I was with. Um, I always keep my work life in this separate just because I don't want either of them to infringe on each other. Not that they would, but like I do make videos that are more personal and like I wouldn't share them with people that I work with unless they were good friends of mine and I don't want to hear a lot of personal stuff about other coworkers. Like there are some, like I have good friends, but you know, there, there's that line that I don't want to cross. Um, however, due to some unforeseen life events, as well as kind of what, I guess I could just be straightforward with it. When I went, I rejoined a company that I was with previously. And the reason why I did is they had become a corporate entity. They became part of the corporate organization. This brand, this company is worldwide, okay? And locally, it used to be owned by locals, franchises, franchisers, and then corporate came in, bought most of them out, and then made a corporate entity. And <laughs> I knew that I could do the job well. I was successful when I was there originally. And it being corporate, I was like, well, awesome. I could go back and do the corporate ladder, actually climb and get into a really good position. And I, my, I had my mindset on a couple things and everything was going good, like really good. Like I was climbing the ladder. I was on the short list of, you know, high performing or high, uh, what's the word, potential individuals. Uh, they have rules that like you have to be there for at least a year under the corporate umbrella before you can move upwards. And I was on track. I was on track to do that. And then they dropped a bombshell around September that they are pulling out of Utah and selling all back to franchisees. Which, in in the grand scheme of things, isn't necessarily a bad thing, depending on how things pan out. Um, I was lucky enough to get bought out by someone who, you know had plans and goals which is great um but it sort of took away from what i was working at at corporate all of that stuff all the hard work no longer really meant anything and i mean it did like in hearsay but on paper now it didn't which is what is most important and it just kind of <clears throat> i tried to push and tried to make it seemed like it didn't bother me but it really did and it kind of just reached a boiling point with some um other life events going on and uh i pulled out i'm not doing it anymore it's not worth how much that i had to sacrifice in my personal life and on top shelfers for no real future besides the position i was in which don't get me wrong you can make a lot of money but money isn't everything if you're not happy so the announcement is I am changing drastically and I'm getting into cybersecurity. Um, I have several friends who are also pursuing cybersecurity as well as a, as well as someone who my wife is really good friends with. Um, her husband is in cybersecurity. Um, he went to school for it and he's kind of, giving me helpful hints and advice and mentoring a little bit to get me into it. So the career goals are as follows, obtain an entry level position in cybersecurity by the end of the year, um, try and obtain five certifications in the field, certs. I don't know how realistic that is. Um, I'm working on one right now and it's, it's a lot of work. I want to, I will be going back to school, Western Governors, they have a program for this. And I want to try and get at least 12 credits of my bachelor's degree this year. 
uh, create a vision board for a six figure salary. I don't mean vision cringy board. Like I just mean like <clears throat> what path do I have to take to get to that level? And then sidetrack from all that. I want to create a new source of income in 2023 and I want to try and be as passive as possible with it. I'm not going to do like, I'm not like a drop shipping bro cause drop shipping is absolutely completely flooded and dumb and don't listen to the YouTube ads where they're like, bro, we can get you drop shipping and you can make 50 grand a month. Like shit like that doesn't really exist anymore. You have to get really lucky. <laughs> so I'm not doing that type of stuff, but there are some passive stuff that I am, that I know about that I want to try and do this year, but we'll see how it goes. And then for the miscellaneous random stuff for the year, um, read 12 books. I did this last year. I'm going to do it again. I want to go to two concerts. I want to see five stand-up shows, like big stand-up shows. Go on two vacations. Uh, start a competitive Call of Duty team. <coughs> I talked about this in one of my last videos, and this is underway. We are in the midst. This is going to be our team name, uh, or <laughs> whatever you want to call it, our community name. More of that to come, if you're interested. I'm going to set up a retro gaming series. I'm hopefully doing this with a buddy of mine. Record 12 episodes of True Crime Drunks, my other podcast that I'm a co-host on. Uh, collab with 25 content creators. Uh, take 50 photos this year, like quality photos. I really used to be into photography and I love doing it. I want to get back into it a little bit. Uh, learn my first song on the sax saxophone. Yes, I've been practicing on the saxophone. I have a saxophone. Uh, I don't know how to read music and I am bought the saxophone last year so I am completely new to it but I want to learn uh, I also want to learn how to cook five new recipes this year uh, I've always said that I want to learn how to cook and I can make some really like basic shit but I want to make something good uh, I'm gonna have my wife teach me how to crochet this year because I just it seems like a cool thing to know how to do and you never know when you need it <coughs> sorry my Let's rehydrate mid-video. Stay hydrated. And I'm cheating on my uh, natural geyser alpine spring water with Arrowhead today because natural alpine water was uh, out of stock. So sorry to them. They should have sponsored me already. Uh, next, reach 5,000 followers on Instagram. I need 1,300 more. Reach 3,000 followers on Twitter. I think I need 1,900 more. Uh, reach 1850 followers on TikTok. I think I need 400 more, somewhere around there. Uh, reach 950 followers on Facebook. I'm at 666 as of this morning, which is creepy. So a little over 300 more. I'm going to learn how to stream on TikTok. Uh, I'm going to create a t-shirt company. And then I'm going to try... That didn't mean to be there. Yeah, I'm going to create a t-shirt company. Um, just for fun. Because I have so many ideas for t-shirts and I just, it's something that I want to do. Like, I'll give you an example. Hold on. Let me find some stuff, some stuff that I do. Like, I just love making logos and shit. Oops, that didn't mean to be there. But you guys saw, it. oh well. Like, I made this for a buddy. But like, I think, oh, grabbed the wrong thing. Like. Don't panic, it's organic. Like, how cool would that be on a t-shirt? You know? Like, there's so many things. Like, I made this for top shelfers. I know they're, like, logos and shit, but, like, you can make them for t-shirts. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just scrolling through shit on here because I get a lot of it <laughs> uh, okay well this is taking away from the main point of the video but yeah t-shirt company so if you guys uh, want to get t-shirts from your boy look forward to that sometime this year last part of this video is I want to kind of show you how I go about doing my goals I do what's called the three, six, nine, twelve method. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why I'm so coffee all of a sudden. I haven't been talking today, so I should have warmed up my voice before going into this. So let's pick something that would be 
an easy one that I can expand upon. Let's do reach a thousand subs on YouTube uh, by the end of the year. So first thing you have to do is you have to go and you have to find exactly your numbers are on day one numbers. Okay. So I am right now 529 subscriptions away from my goal. So some quick mass is 471 subs will get me to that goal. All right. So we're current 529 subs away. We need 471, which means we need to do nine subs a week. Just under nine subs a week. So nine subs a week, which means we need seven, about one to two subs a day. Okay. So that throughout the whole year will make us get thousand subs. Okay. So how I break it down is we go week one, week two, and you do this so on and so forth until you get down to month three, okay, in total. So that can be week four, eight, 12, that could be week 12, that could be week 16, however you wanna do it, whenever you're done with your month three, you reevaluate, okay? You do the same thing as the top, so you're like, okay, cool, we're at 600 subs, we had a good, we had a good first three months, so now we only need 400 subs, to reach our goal, which would be now 400 divided by 52, which means we only need seven subs a week, which means we need divided by seven, we need just under one sub a day will equal your thousand, okay? And then you do the same thing, right? You're like, okay, week 15, and what I'm doing on these weeks is I'm just keeping myself accountable. Did we do it? What did we get? Are we positive 10 subs? Are we negative eight? And then I'll leave myself reasons why. What's working, what's not working? Like this Reddit page is working great or don't waste time on Instagram. Like whatever it is, like you just leave yourself notes, okay? And then you do the same thing and then you go all the way down to month six and you see where you're at. Like you just do the same thing over and over because then you always know like what, what I need, what do I need to have happen this week? What can I do this day to make it happen? Right. And you can do this for everything. Like, let's say it's the, the weight loss one. Let's say currently I'm 350 pounds. I don't know how much I weigh and I want to be 285. Okay, so that means that I need to lose, what's the, oh wait, no, need is not that. So 285 pounds is the goal. So I need to lose 350 minus 285. So I need to lose 65 pounds, which spread across a uh, whole year is 1.25 pounds a week, which divided by seven is I need to lose 0.178 pounds a day, right? Like you can do this with any goal that you want. And here, we'll do another example. Let's say you want to make $100,000 this year right like okay sorry let's say so your goal would be one hundred thousand dollars
and you start at zero because it's the new year so we need a hundred thousand so that's 100,000 divided by 52 means you need to do 1923 a week, which means you need to bring in $274 a day, right? And then that will be $100,000 at the end of the year. And honestly, like I love doing stuff like this because it makes things more like achievable. When I just, if someone comes up to you like, oh, I need to make a hundred grand a year. Do they really know that it's only $274 a day? Do they know that? Because then you can start using your, you can start using your, your brain a little bit different, right? You're like, okay, so let's say I have a job. Hold on, let me get, let me bring the calculator over here so you guys can be with me. Let's say I have a job and I make $25 an hour and I work eight hours a day, okay? That means through, let's say you just work a typical nine to five. So you're $74 short every single day just from your day job, which means you need to make up, uh, let's see here, 74 times five. So you need to make up $375 or $370 through your Monday through Friday to keep you on track of that. And then you also need to make up $548 um, for your Saturday and Sunday to be on track for your weekly goal, right? So then you can start thinking, okay, I need to make an additional $548 every single week to be able to make a hundred grand a year, okay? Well, what can I do? Well, maybe I find a part-time job cleaning that pays me $10 an hour. So let's do $10 an hour and you work 20 hours that week. Okay, so well, there's $200. So now I'm $348 short of that weekly goal. So where can I make up $348? Well, shoot, if I make content, maybe I need to find a subscribe, maybe I need to find a sponsor for 350 bucks a month, or maybe I need to stream more. Maybe I can get $348 from streaming or you know, the, the opportunities are endless. Maybe I'm going to go Gary V it and do garage sales. Maybe I'm going to, maybe I'm going to do drop shipping. Maybe I need to do this or that, right? Like people <clears throat> really underestimate, especially when it comes to money, like little, little amounts of money coming in. Everyone thinks like, oh, I just need to get like the one big thing that pays me a lot. I would rather have a day job that pays me a good amount and then four or five things on the side that pay me like a hundred bucks every week. Because $500 is so much extra money when you look at it in this breakdown, right? Like, if you got $500 extra a week, like, that t that means that you only have to make $1,400 a week to hit 100000 by the end of the year. Right? Like, it makes everything so much more obtainable. You know, it, it, you, you use this little formula. And, like, I... I don't think I came up with this. Like I never learned about this, but I'm sure this is something most people do. And I just do the three month thing, the every three month thing to keep myself accountable and to reevaluate. So I know what is what I need to do. Right. Like, do I need, like, let's say I get to month three. Right. And I have, I've made 18,000. Right current 18,000. So that means I need now, sorry, I keep losing my calculator. I think I closed it. So let's do 100,000 minus 18,000 is 82,000, which means we divide that by 52. So that means, oops, I skipped a, a step. So we need 82,000, which means we're ahead of schedule. So we only need now to be making 1576 a week, which is 1576 divided by seven, which is now only $225 a day, right? So like what if what if at the start of your year, your first three months, you find a part-time job making 20 bucks an hour and you do it for 20 
hours a week and now you're at month three you're ahead of schedule you can quit that day job you can quit that part-time job and coast off your main job making 1576 a week and then you'll make 100 grand that year right like it's 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 knowing these things it's knowing where you're at and the reality of accomplishing it i, I hope that makes sense right and then you could get to month six and let's say shit month like we're at month six and some shit happened and i'm currently only at twenty five thousand. okay and now I need oh wait I think I messed something up but anyways you guys you guys get where I'm coming with this right like the more the more you understand how to reach it the easier everything is um, if you guys want help setting goals please let me know I'd love to be a part of it and help you um, it's something that I like doing I used to never do New Year's goals just because I think that it's silly to not and, and like I still don't like in all honesty, these goals have been set a while ago, but they have nothing to do with the start of the year. But when you create content, you kind of have to go with the flow of what people produce. And people always produce, here's my yearly goal video, right? So that's what I'm doing. Set goals all the time. Don't be stagnant. If you reach one, make the goal harder or set a new one. Like, do it all through the year. Don't just do it at the start of the year because you won't accomplish them. You won't. New Year's resolutions are fucking stupid. They are. It's like 10% of people ever actually stick with their New Year's resolution. Set goals all the time. Stick with them and reach them. You'll be happier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.